Oh, it's time. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Rock the Water God, man. I'm back with another video. And you know, we got to talk about Biden and his social media situation. We got to get into this. Okay, now, before I start, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know, I like to give you content on <clears throat> the news on what's going on and what you need to know about. So make sure you stay tapped in. All right, so before I read this article, guys, and this I'm getting this article from the uh from New York Times. But we know that the federal judge limits Biden officials' contacts with social media sites. So the order came in a lawsuit filed by the attorneys general of Missouri and Louisiana who claimed the administration is trying to silence his critics. I'm, I'm loving this topic. I'm loving what the judge is saying because if you guys don't know this, you know this on YouTube. They had it to where like, hey, you can't talk about this. You get censored when you talk about a word. It's like they're trying to, people who's trying to fight against stuff, they're trying to hold it down and keep a mainstream decision. Okay, so let's get into the article. It says a federal judge in Louisiana on Tuesday restricted the Biden administration from communicating with social media platforms about broad swaths of content online. A ruling that could curtail efforts to combat false and misleading narratives about the coronavirus pandemic and other issues. Guys, I wouldn't even say it the C word because I'm like, oh, man, they're going to fight. But this is what I'm talking about. We can't really speak our peace. And if we try to speak our peace about it, because I don't even talk about it. Anymore, you know, I got a couple of other channels y'all can check out that we talk about a little bit, but I don't talk about it because my channel was getting um, it was like my views was going down. I was at thousands of views and I'm starting to speak my peace. And now I'm like, hold on. I was just getting thousands of views. The other day. Now it's like ain't nobody watching me. So the order, which could have significant First Amendment implications, is a major development in a fierce legal fight over the boundaries and limits of speech online. It was a victory for the Republicans who have often accused social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube of disproportionately taking down right-leaning content, sometimes in collaboration with government. So they do it on all the platforms. And I mean, we all kind of knew this, that it was censored, okay? But that they collaborate with the government is crazy. Democrats say the platforms have failed to adequately police misinformation and hateful speech, leading to dangerous outcomes, including violence. So it brings us back to the Democrat and Republican. It, this is what it brings us at. This is the fight where... If you see stuff get taken down, it's them that, you know, it's like, it's just crazy that, you know, the misinformation. I, I kind of, I, I can understand misinformation. That's how I can end it. But that's what it all, a lot of this stuff out here is misinformation. But you got some people that could speak and people would understand them better and they would want to get their information through uh, people. That's what YouTube is about. So by them doing this where they flagging it, it 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 just makes you know you have to believe what the majority wants you to believe right so um in a ruling judge terry a Doughty of the u.s district court for the western district of louisiana said that parts of the government including the department of health and human services and the federal bureau of investigations could not talk to social media companies for the purpose of urging encouraging pressuring or inducing in any manner, the removal, deletion, suppression, or reduction of content containing protected free speech. So I want to know from you guys who are watching this, do you feel that if you talk about coronavirus or the things that they're doing, do you feel like you are misinforming people or you feel like that's free speech? Like, because if we're going to say, all right, look, if you saying something that's harmful, you can't say it. We're going to block you out. Is that free speech anyway? So I'm excited to see where it's going to go. So it says, uh, <clears throat> if the allegations uh, made by the plaintiffs are true, the present case arguably involves the most massive attack against free speech in United States history, the judge said. The plaintiff 
are likely to succeed in the merits in establishing that the government has used its power to silence the opposition. Courts are increasingly being forced to weigh in on such issues with the potential to upend decades of legal norms that have governed speech online. So I want y'all to read this in an entirety. I didn't read uh, all of it. Okay, but they did say that Meta, Facebook, Instagram, Google, all of them declined to respond to this matter. Um, they, nobody, none of the social media sites has responded to this, but I want to know what you guys think about this situation. Okay, do you think it's a problem for whatever we want to talk about on YouTube, online, whatever? And you go in and you, you know, you shadow ban us. You know, if you look in, I can show you guys my, my, my YouTube page. And it's like, once I started talking about the politics and going, you know, with ple you know, just making fun of the stuff that Biden and was saying, you know, it just seems like I just hit a wall. Like you guys made sure these social media sites are against people that's not speaking the terms on the terms that you want. So. And I don't think that's fair. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Do you think this is, do you think this is a problem? Do you think that we should be able to be able to speak freely on YouTube? We don't care who is in charge. It don't matter if you're in charge and you want to connect with Facebook, YouTube. Do you feel like we all should be able to speak freely? Let me know, your let me know in the comment section. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.